Welcome to Happy Hour, brought to you by Best Damn Bookkeeping. That's the trade-off, because if you want money now, you will have less money later. Like you, you, more money now means you're going to spend less on these investments to grow your business and you can take more money out of the business now. And and that's okay. The right answer is going to be different. If you're yes. having a kid right now, like maybe, maybe it's not growth. Maybe it is EBITDA. If, yes. if your kids are kind of older and you're like, what else we got to do? Let's grow this thing. We don't need the money. Then let's grow it. Like if we want that set of problems, like growth comes with different problems, needs different solutions, but like, changes by the by the season of your life that you're in 1000 percent. but that's so that's what when when we were we went back and looked at, at ten thousand conversions so not a small number we looked at about did 10, you get 000. that mosquito did you get him i didn't i missed him oh, i, damn. Missed him. I, I got him. one earlier and i was gonna leave it out as a threat to the other mosquitoes like yeah this is what i will do to you yeah. uh but I, I i didn't i think i threw it on the floor but no well, that's but you, why that's why they're still coming at you i know right because i didn't i didn't leave one out as, as a lesson for everyone but uh, no, but we, but we looked at 10,000 conversions and what you just said is exactly the case. It's you either have to, you have to pick one and mm -hmm. share it with everybody. Tell everyone from your bookkeeper to your, everybody, your team members, what the goal is, your, your, uh, marketing companies, what your goal is. If you're doing PR stuff, like everybody know that I'm doing EBITDA or I'm doing growth. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, 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 but don't bounce back and forth. Not, not through this, what we're going to come up with. You got to yeah, have a plan. Easy. And now pick the, pick the plan now. Yeah. I've been, um, this bookkeeping business that I have is my second one. I had one, but I was the minority owner and I realized this is really stupid for me to like do my jam and make a bunch of other people money. Um, and I don't even like, I'm not a EBITDA dude. I just like, as long as my employees are happy, my customers happy, I'll make money. Like as long as they're happy, we'll just do more and more and more of it. Um, but I kind of had to decide in this business, I was like, well, if we're going to grow as fast as our customers are demanding that we grow, they just keep coming. And I want to make sure we have the capacity to take them. So I'm like, I'm the, the person I'm talking to now. I, I told her we'll probably bring her on like end of August. I recruited her six, seven months ago. I'm like, we'll be so far out in front of this. We're going to find the best people in the world. I mean, we're best damn bookkeeping. So we can't have like average people working here. Um, but the, the I have this conversation with my employees all the time. It's like, maybe next month we'll make some money. But that's not the goal. Like right now, the goal is like the training. The training for us is the investment. Probably takes yep. three months for us to get somebody that's like really dialed in on the finance side to be able to talk to a business owner about the financials of their business, and that's totally fine. We don't we don't need to make money right now. We'll make money someday, but we're totally in growth mode. Not not for the sake of growth. Like only if our customers desire our growth and demand our growth, do I want to grow? If the customers don't want it, then I got some work to do. Um, but as long as they want it, we're just gonna keep growing like crazy. We'll make money later. Money later is yep. fine. We don't need the money now. We'll make some money later. Hey, Home Service Heroes, thank you guys so much for tuning into our Home Service Happy Hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something, and I sure as heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which, stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out. <laughs>